You know, Frankie, maybe Trump isn't that bad. What, are you crazy? I think David Cross said it best. I am starting to, starting to regret my vote for Trump. I, I know. You guys, I know. I was like you, it'll be fun. It'll be funny. Burn it down. Burn the Constitution down. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I was fine in the beginning. I, 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 I can overlook, and I'm okay with the blatant racism and the crass sexism and the deranged narcissism and pandering to Nazis and supporting pedophiles and proudly bragging about being a sexual predator and uh, paying your mistress to have an abortion and openly cheating your employees and mocking the disabled and praising murderous dictators and the constant pathological lies, the petty vindictive cruelty, the staggering ineptitude, the unapologetic corruption, the nepotism, the mob ties, the calculated mendacity, ignorance as to how American government works, encouraging violence against those who question your authority, the theft of our tax dollars to pay off your mountain of debt and or go golfing. Did I mention the relentless lying? You're a liar. Being a white nationalist, demonizing immigrants, the obvious disregard of the Bill of Rights, lying about whether Russia had hacked our election when you knew all along it had, then lying about lying about it, the collusion with our sworn enemy and the sworn enemy of democracy, your dereliction of duty, your treasonous activities, and I, I was with you when you cheated. I was with you when you cheated uh, on your wife with that porn star, the one you compared favorably to your daughter. Uh, you cheated on your wife, not the wife you raped, but the current wife who had just given birth to your son. And of course I was with you when we found out you cheated with the Playboy Playmate, the one you compared favorably to your daughter. Not, not with the wife you have now, but the second wife whose kid you ignore. And of course I was with you, President Trump, when you, when you took the babies away, you took infants breastfeeding, literally breastfeeding from their mothers and fathers, people, the families who had made this uh, uh, arduous trek to come here and and seek asylum. They just wanted to seek asylum. And, and you took them and you sent, deported the parents and you took them and separated them, sent the kids a hundred miles away in a, a disused Walmart in a, inside of a, a cage with armed guards uh, 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 pointing guns at them. And then of course, uh, uh, and then uh, thus ensuring the private prison contractors, Core Civic and Geo Group, who donated heavily to you, can get paid their collective four billion in profit. As those toddlers sob and whimper in absolute terror, traumatized for life, of course I was with you with that. But this last omnibus bill is where I draw the line. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry, President Trump, but I'm a good Christian. I'm a good Christian and I can't tolerate that last spending bill. I have to rewrite this thing almost daily and I, that's why I can't memorize it. This, this is new. This is a couple days old that Core Civic and Geo Group found that out three days ago, I, you know. And I wonder if there were any people in Germany in the early 40s who were like, you know, I am really starting to regret my vote for Hitler. <laughs> I mean, I was with them in the beginning, you know. But come on, six million Jews? <laughs> One million I could see, two million, okay, but sorry, six million, I'm sorry, Mr. Hitler, but I'm a good Christian, so. And I'm not comparing Trump voters to Nazis, okay? No, I'm not. I'm comparing Trump voters to the German people who voted for the Nazi party. There's a difference. See if you can find it. Touche. Touche, Frankie. Right?